17 point lead. Something they came back from against the Rough Riders a month ago. Ended up winning in overtime. And a lot of this today. John Cornish left, John Cornish right, John Cornish up the middle. What a day. Yeah, there's no question that the Stampeders have won this phase of the football game, and that's with Cornish and their offensive line, who you know, I don't think I'm going out on a limb to say has been their best performance, and that includes a 170-yard rushing game from Cornish go, against Hamilton. I, I think this offensive line is creating a soft spot, a bubble, that Cornish is not seeing first contact till he's about eight, nine yards across the line of scrimmage. Second down, short yardage. Back to Cornish again, finds that hole, finds the first down. Maybe Rob Maver's got to put a few more dinners on the line. <laughs> yeah, whatever it takes, right? Whatever and it takes. We mentioned coming out that Cornish was just 56 yards behind Corey Sheets. Even though he'd had a bit of a roller coaster ride this year, going the big game and then coming off a, a game not as good against Toronto, under 50 yards rushing in that one, but then the numbers just exploded here this afternoon. The clock right now is Calgary's friend, Saskatchewan's enemy, though. If they keep doing this and getting first downs. The riders may not be able to get their offense on the field for more than a couple strikes, well, yeah. any quick strike. Yeah, and this is where Calgary will just, you know, lean on them as much as they can on first down. That was first down run. You'll see a ton of Cornish. He knows it. Running backs love that, and so do offensive linemen. Let's ask Chris Schultz. When you got win games, and you know you're going to lean on that front hand and take off the line of scrimmage and go and block somebody in the run game, that's when football becomes fun for offensive linemen and running backs. Matt Walters in at running back right now. Kevin Glenn hands off to him, and he's got the first down. Calgary Dino picks up eight yards, moves the markers again. Now there's probably Ryder fans wondering, well, what, what is Saskatchewan doing, or maybe specifically not doing, to stop this run? And they're some lanes created by this offensive line because the defensive ends and Brent Hawkins and Odell Willis are widening and there's just too much space there for the linebackers to fill in there and remember they don't have their leading tackle and Abraham Cromer now going the other way oh Marquay McDaniel hit hard Saskatchewan has the football, but Chris McKenzie whistle had gone. Interesting counter. Saskatchewan defenders were wondering if this was a fumble recovered by Saskatchewan, and, and Calgary coaching staff got out there to say it was down by contact. I think they were right. The Calgary coaching staff that McDaniel was down, and the ground is why the football was forced out of there. He has control there. Knee is definitely on the ground. The thing about this is, again, Calgary eating up a lot of time. And their first down plays all game long. Five, six yards. Another five-yard pickup. Perfectly executed game plan with these conditions today by Calgary. Training staff also looking at Markway McDaniel. Already eating up three and a half minutes in this fourth quarter. Key second down for both teams here. Well, which side of the offensive line does John Cornish get the football on this play? Yeah. <laughs> the over under for John Cornish has been pretty good today. Time he's going to stay in for and go out. He goes to the far side and looking for Rob Cote, who supplied a lot of the protection and blocking help today. So, second down is a no go for the Stampeders. There's a flag on the far side of the field, though. And it's against the Stampeders.
procedure. Calgary, illegal formation. That penalty is declined. It'll be third down. Third down. If they tried the field goal, it would come from about 36, 37 yard line. Remember the last time Rene Paredes tried to do that, he hit his own lineman in the face with the football trying to drive it low. The offense instead they're going to go for it is going to go for it. Yeah, not surprised. Not surprised. Decent field position if you don't get it. Put your defense on the field. The kicking game is an adventure. Third down and six. Whistle now. Timeout. Calgary. John Huffnagel calling for a timeout. Interesting little chess match here, but still lots of time for the Rough Riders. But based on their offense today, they haven't been able to move the ball even with the wind. They're going to have to change things around dramatically. Again, they've gone a long time without scoring a point. Back to BC last week. See Dave Dickinson in the background, how frustrated he was there. He didn't have the right people on the field. He went right to the sideline to say, wait a minute, that's not the right personnel for the group. And Drew Tate involved in that huddle, isn't he? Drew Tate, who has been throwing. And some are saying maybe ahead of schedule. His rehab from shoulder surgery. Eligible to come off the nine game injured list late September. Right now, he's an extra coach. Here it is, third down. Six yards. Glenn, the rush. Here it comes. Loses the football. Odell Willis can't pick it up, and now he does. Calgary has it. It doesn't matter. Saskatchewan with the stand. And now the Rough Riders need their offense to get in the groove. Adele Willis, part of Gang Green, that got to Kevin Glenn. Well, he, was chasing, to fumble. he was chasing his fumble down, and when he did, it looked like he fell awkwardly on the football. The training staff had to take a look at him. It wouldn't have mattered. Calgary didn't have first down yardage, not even close. So Saskatchewan was getting the ball either way, whether they recovered it or not. Now they have to pick it up offensively. Corey Sheets tripped up by Juwan Simpson. Half the first down yardage. Again, a four-game losing streak, Glenn, but look at the ineffectiveness of the Saskatchewan offense. Good defense last week. Maybe the best in the land, BC. The furthest they went downfield to the Lions 29. The furthest they've gone downfield today, the 33-yard line. They just have not been able to get to the red zone, the score zone. too soon if they have a sniff here. Durant flushed again. Will take it. And oh, takes a big hit. Malik Jackson got to him, but not until he had picked up enough for the first down. Wincing Darian Durant. Yeah, he took a big one, and he's trying to take this final quarter on his shoulders here, and, and he's doing it with his legs. This game has been his most productive of 2012 running the football, that's for sure. 74 yards already in this game coming into it after seven games he had 159 so halfway to that total after seven games in one and good pass rush from the Stampeders here they come again Durant is going to give it to Corey Sheets somehow what a block there by Brendan Labatt Corey Sheets close to a first down Houdini does it again Six-yard gain. It'll be second and four, but very well should have been a sack. It was Chris McCoy who got that initial pressure on Dur on Durant. I was certain it was probably Charleston Hughes the way he's been playing, but it was an inside move by Chris McCoy. He gets away from that, gets it to Corey Sheets, and now it'll be third down and four yards. Down 17 with eight and a half to go. Durant looks to the bench. Well, you're three possessions down. You need a field goal to tie it at some point. You need two touchdowns and a field goal. 
field goal would be about 52 but Sandro DeAngelis missed earlier from near the 50 and so they're going for it that's interesting because may, that may be the reason or, or at least part of the decision here four receivers to the left and penalty flag flies Dressler has the catch Looked like a lot of movement at the line before that play yeah, and, and I'm not sure if Johan Asiata the right tackle was moved because there was movement from that Calgary D line Calgary a penalty is declined first down Saskatchewan that's what it was it was the biggest gamble of the game by the riders they needed it and they got it here's the movement and that's when the O line moved a little early First down from the 37. Here it is again, Durant, far side. Gets left, stretches. They come down to another second and three or four. I'm ticking away though. Seven yard pickup. Time ticking away, but plenty of it. I mean, mm -hmm. Three minutes, you can get the ball three times. Calgary Stampeders understand that. They stack the house again. Here they come. Durant has it batted down again. Well, it's going to come down to third down, and this time they're not going to hesitate. They will bring Sandro DeAngelis out to kick the field goal. This is a must make right here. Yeah, and you're right. It was it was that he had missed from a little further out. That's why they gambled the last time. Um, but I like the play calling defensively from Calgary's D coordinator Rick Campbell right now. I mean, your 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 defense has got to provide the pressure. You know, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders number one have to come back. Number two have the wind at their back. They're going to try and throw the ball pretty much every down. 37 yarder is good. Riders finally on the board. Down to 14. Rider fans coming to life here. They haven't had much to cheer about. Riders have put three points on the board, have the wind with them, and now it's up to their defense. No seat required right now. Everybody's on their feet. this one and erase this deficit even more that's the idea they have to stop John Cornish yeah you mentioned the struggles that Saskatchewan's had offensively in this game and certainly Kevin Glenn got off to that good start with 106 yards but since then he's had just 36 yards for the Calgary offense it's been mostly John Cornish that's a big down here for them in second and long with lots of time left Managing this win has been difficult for both teams offensively. Other than one quarter, a good first quarter from Kevin Glenn. No points have been scored against the win to the left side of your screen. It's amazing the debris that's flying. <laughs> Sometimes you think it's a flag. There's a big toss there to Larry Taylor. And depending on how short he is, they're bringing the sticks out to measure, perhaps. Looks like maybe a yard, yard and a half. Well, it has to be a yard or less for them to bring the sticks in. The punt team's coming out here yeah, right away. And Calgary Stampeders are likely going to try and put a couple guys or may put another guy on side. They did that with Matt Walter at one point. This can get scrambly. That ball hangs up in there. It's live for anybody behind the kicker. And right now, Calgary has no one behind Maver. Rob Maver. Line drive kick, a good one against the win. Bounces in front of Tristan Jackson. No yards on the play. Straight arm by Jackson and add five to that. And the Saskatchewan Rough Riders now try to mount the comeback. Darian Durant. Side, the catch. And carrying a stampeder on his back is Chris Getzlaff. 
Tad Cornegay, a former Saskatchewan Rough Rider, went for a ride on the horse called Getzlaff. Durant's going to buy time by continuing to kind of give ground here. Gives ground a little bit, gives ground, bounces a little to his left, just waiting for Getzlaff to open up so that he waited for Cornegay. Tad Cornegay to come way back inside before delivering that ball. Penalty flag. Durant down, loses his helmet. That will be a penalty as well. There was an initial penalty as Chris McCoy ripped off Darian Durant's lid. Actually, both helmets coming off here. But let's see, sort this all out. Chris McCoy, like he hurt his knee significantly here. Well, this so with McCoy down. Offside, Saskatchewan number 88. Major foul, face mask, Calgary. First down, automatic, Saskatchewan. Oh, it's offside. On Taj Smith, the Saskatchewan receiver. No question about the face mask. I'm just wondering how McCoy hurt himself. It looked like as he spun around there, his leg got caught underneath him a little bit. Twisted his knee, and down he goes. Let's see him right here. There it is. He came down, and he took his helmet off. He was in immediate pain, and he's still on the field. And I mentioned that the Calgary penalties have cost him this, you know, this one really not one that sometimes when you're going after the quarterback like that the hand just gets caught up in there and I don't think there was any intent at all from McCoy on that play they've had some bad penalties over the last few weeks that wasn't one of them that was unfortunate and maybe more so that he got hurt on the play because he rolled on his own leg there as he spun around that would have been a huge defensive play had he not grabbed the cage of Darian Durant as it is the Rough Riders Catch a break here, four and a half to go. Need to find the end zone. Durant. And caught! Chris gets left inside the five yard line. But there's a penalty flag back at the 46 yard line. A 30 yard pickup. Durant's trying to regroup. I'm wondering if he got hit. Throwing this, but it looks like Chris gets last pop confidence is back. Major foul, broken the pass there. Calgary number 36. Half the distance to the goal. First down. There it is right there. You're right. Kenny Petway with the late hit on the quarterback. Tough catch again from Chris Getzlaff. Nice adjustment as he just gets a little bit more depth to get underneath that one, catches it low on his hips. Looks like his